Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do... What is it? Oh, another tag! I decided to take a break from studying, so I'm gonna do the book buying habits tag so you guys can hear about all of my book buying habits. Yep. First question, where do you buy your books? And I get them from a variety of places. I buy them both online and in the store, so I can run to Fred Meyers, or there, we have three local bookshops downtown that I like to go to um, a little upscale, then there's one that's a little bit more upscale, and then there's one that's a used, like buy and use, just like cluttered with everything bookstore that's really good prices, like you can get a nice, really like brand new book for four dollars, which is awesome. And so I love going there, but if they don't have the book that I want, then I'll use Amazon, and if not Amazon, I'm always on Book Outlet all the time trying to find different books whenever they get them in in order to buy them for the cheapest amount. Question two, do you ever pre-order books? If so, from where? And I've actually never pre-ordered a book before. I kind of just like to have it come out and then go and get it at the bookstore, just kind of like little hype and you get a little treat instead of pre-ordering it. I know that it'll get there on that day and sometimes the bookstore doesn't have it in on the day that it gets released, but I'm, I'm a patient person, I feel like, most of the time, so I can wait and then go and get it. Question three, on average, how many books do you buy a month? My first year of college, I actually didn't really get back into reading until after Christmas because I started reading the Divergent series and I hadn't read a book series in quite a while just because I had gotten caught up in school and that was when I started getting back into reading I was like oh my gosh I forgot how fun this was and so over the last year a lot I went from having no books in my room to having over a hundred books in my apartment almost 200 now but it's getting slower and slower down as I my TBR shelf goes up right now I'd say probably four books a month about like four to seven Question four, do you use your local library? And I actually don't, I've never been in our library before just because we always have people standing outside the library who want you to sign stuff and all these petitions. So I don't go there to the one in our community. Plus I have a personal library of my own. Question five is, what is your opinion on library books? And I personally love library books. Actually, that was almost my entire childhood. It was getting on my bike and riding to the library every single day in order to sit there and read books and especially in elementary school I would always go to the library and just look for the biggest book so that I felt smart and would read it. That's how I read Philip Pullman books like The Golden Compass and stuff like that in order to get the most AR points. If you guys did AR points you'll know what I mean. You just wanted to get the most that you could read. Question six, how do you feel about charity shops and secondhand books? And like I said, we have a charity shop downtown um, where it's all like secondhand books and some of them are just scratch and dent copies. And I love them just because I love like used books just because they always have a story. <laughs> Not just as a story, but there's a story to the book. Okay, I'll stop. There's just like some pages have dog-eared pages and you know that that's where the person before you had stopped reading for the night because their eyes were too tired. Sometimes the spine has the crinkles on it and you just know that it was well loved. As you can see, my books are very, very well loved. Don't mistreat them though, I swear. They're just very old. <laughs> Question seven. Do you keep your TBR books together or separate? And I actually kind of keep them separate. I just put them on my shelves as... I unpacked them just kind of in any order that they could and in their height order and stuff. So I have TBR books on every single one of my shelves. They're not congregated in any manner. I was thinking about doing that, but I got back into studying and started university back again. So it just hasn't been a priority to keep them together. So yeah, I keep them apart. Question eight is, do you plan to read all of the books that you own? And yes, I said this in my bookish resolutions for 2015. I plan to get all of my TBR shelf very low. I know that I'm going to buy more books, so I'm definitely going to have more on my TBR shelf list by the end of the year, just because I'll have bought more books, but hopefully I'll have read more books than I have bought, 
and I'll have less on my TBR shelf, but I don't want to keep a book on my shelf if I'm not going to read it. Then I'll just give it to somebody else so that they can enjoy it. And question number nine is what do you plan to do with the books that you bought but don't intend to read? Like I just said, if I'm not going to read it, I don't really want it to just sit on my shelf and do nothing. I'd rather give it to someone who is going to enjoy it. So. Question 10 is, have you ever donated a book? And yes, when I moved, we donated quite a few books to the Women's Shelter and to Goodwill, um, just that we hadn't read in a while, but we also just kept some in storage. So I've definitely donated my fair share of books. Question 11 is, have you ever been on a book buying ban? And I have not because I would not do that to myself because telling somebody that they can't do something just makes them want to do it even more. So if you tell me that I can't buy a book and that I need to read all of the books on my shelf before I can do that, yes, of course I will understand your point and your logic, but I will not agree with it just because I can't not finish a series as well as if I see a book on a shelf and it's gorgeous and I want it, I will pick it up and just buy it. You can't stop me. Sorry. And the last question is, do you feel you have too many books? And that's a silly question because there is no such thing as too many books. And, and lastly, who do you tag? And I tag all of you guys because I don't really have anyone specific to tag. If you are watching this, then go and do it. Because I'd like to know that I'm not the only person who buys too many books and doesn't read all of them in a timely manner. Help us be less shameful of ourselves by sharing in the wonder of too many books on our TBR shelves. Alright guys, so I hope you like that tag. If you like what you're watching, then keep watching and subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram. I'll have it all in the doobly-doo down below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!